You're watching the Fox 8 10 o'clock news with Neil McNeil, Katie Nordine, and Max Weather Chief Meteorologist Van Denton. Tomorrow marks the beginning of tournament play in the 78th edition of North Carolina's oldest professional golf event. And tonight's newsmaker is a key figure in making it all happen. Steve Holmes is the chairman and chief executive officer of the tournament's title sponsor, the Wyndham Worldwide Corporation. This will be the 11th year this tournament's been called the Wyndham. It's also the first year of a brand new 10-year contract it has signed to keep it that way. And as you're about to see, for Holmes and his company, it's a lot more than just handing out a trophy. For those of you who don't get out to the tournament and don't get a chance to see what the tournament's like, it is Wyndham land out here. Everywhere you go at the Sedgefield Country Club, you can tell Wyndham knows how to brand itself. The name is everywhere. Have you been out to this tournament before? Many times, okay. yes. And Steve Holmes, Wyndham Worldwide's chairman and CEO, wouldn't have it any other way. In addition to running the world's number one seller of timeshares and vacation rentals, Holmes runs the world's largest hotel company. It's the franchiser of more than 7,400 hotels worldwide that fall under 20 brands. They include Wyndham, Days Inn, Ramada, Winget by Wyndham, Travelodge, and Howard Johnson. We are responsible for making sure that those brands are well marketed, uh, that the quality of the brand is maintained by the franchisees, and for those services, we're paid a fee. By the, by the individual hotel owners. In fact, those hotel owners, along with timeshare company executives, vendors, and others, are guests of Wyndham Worldwide at this tournament every year. Combine that with the TV exposure and the people who watch the professional golf in person. Coming here opens the world of Wyndham to our, to our yeah, customers. I mean, has there ever been a desire to put a, a big high-end Wyndham resort uh, here in Greensboro, is that something you would like? We would love to. Are there any plans to do so? We've talked to a number of people. We hope to have something here shortly. But usually it takes two to, two to tango. So the owner of the hotel has to feel that we're going to bring value and we have to feel that it's the right representation for the brand. In other words, stay tuned. In the meantime, like the company that carries its name, this tournament will continue to focus on fun and hospitality in addition to great golf. But there's something even more important. Why is giving back so important to you and your company? I think giving back is, is, is a requirement. Uh, if you're fortunate enough to have something to be able to share with others, you should share it. Over the years it's been associated with this tournament, Wyndham Worldwide's presented large checks to several local charities. This year will be no exception. But you come down here and we run programs that, that uh, directly address concerns that people have. Um, you know, the lack of food and, and uh, the, whole, the whole concept that there are so many people in this, in this area, in this community, that really have, have, that are deprived of what they really need. Case in point, last year, Wyndham Worldwide donated $100,000 in seed money to help the tournament's fundraiser, Birdies for Backpacks, which helps local backpack programs provide students in free and reduced meal programs in area schools food in backpacks for them to eat on weekends. And the Key to Win building, which Wyndham Worldwide uses as a hospitality house for fans, customers, and others during the tournament, will again be donated to Habitat for Humanity, which will convert it into an actual home for a deserving local family. This is all about hospitality, and it's all about giving back. And when you think about Wyndham, I hope people think about us as a caring company that respects everybody, that is a very diverse company that really wants to give back to the community. And with the help of Wyndham Worldwide, the tournament donates more than a million and a half dollars every year to local charities. And remember to join us for our special Inside the Ropes at the Wyndham Championship tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. We're going to have first round highlights, a closer look at some of the other charities that benefit from the tournament. And you can catch full coverage tomorrow night right here on Fox 8.